gonna be moving a couple of calves here. Uh, be the uh, six up by the barn here. <clears throat> I just dumped the corn stalks in there. But uh, yeah, gonna get these six moved into this pen in the barn here. And then uh, gotta move them uh, eight into the south pen and then move uh, the five from the south pen in with these uh, breeding age heifers. So gonna get everyone situated here. looking heifers so they stay pretty clean which it was pretty dry this year so they stay a lot cleaner keep all the mud and manure off of them but uh yeah they're about the same well, like they might be a little bigger than some so they should get along pretty good in here and uh yeah we'll move the next group into here then This uh, south pin here just got to open this end gate. Then hopefully they do as good as the last group did and just walk right over. It's a little windy today. to test out trying to walk over here but uh, they might need a little persuasion come on you guys come on Usually once they see one go, then they all get the same idea. But like with every group, you gotta have one that just can't quite figure out how to haul the rest of them. But we got a little more pasture, well, grass, ground, the other group kind of took the load off pretty good. And 
got limbs haven't moved so now we'll go move the six into this group which i usually lock them in the barn because i uh them other calves they don't know what a electric fence is yet so they like to run through the fence and usually have a couple people out here to stand along the fence just to keep them away and they'll eventually slow down and then usually they take their nose and touch and find out that it's hot but there's only three strands of wire there so uh they can get through pretty easily as to over here we got the eight strands and then uh two strands of barbed wire at the bottom so a little harder to squeeze through there but uh yeah we'll grab them other six real quick Yeah, we'll, we'll leave these guys in here, let them use up their energy and run around for a few. Then got this uh, bread cow, uh, well she's a dry cow, but yeah she was limping on her back foot which uh, we think she's got an abscess on her uh, toe anyways, anyways that's what it looks like because we noticed uh, yesterday that she was uh, not putting pressure on it but you can kind of see it's got a it's a little high on the toe there but uh, yeah hopefully get her looked at here but she's she's always had foot problems she had the abscess before so uh, probably a good thing not to breed her back after she calves but i don't know she always has foot problems but uh yeah let these calves slow down a little bit before we throw them out back there but yeah they they're having fun so i'm gonna let them be Got the panels moved off the front of these big huts. I'm gonna grab the skid steer and scoop up the manure in the front here because it's <laughs> it's really stuck to the concrete and I can't fork it. So 
uh, gonna use a skid steer. I didn't, not gonna clean out the hutches. I like to have them cleaned out, but it's got a good base to it. And the barn roof, it doesn't have gutters, so you get all the rain in here. And they're supposed to, I guess we're supposed to have rain the next couple days. So while it's got a good base, just gonna leave it so the bedding doesn't get wet because quite a bit of water kind of accumulates here. That's the only uh, bad part, but uh, just gonna clean the front out here and then uh, got more uh, bull calves to move in there. So get started on that. but this stuff it just kept rolling up so uh yeah got it cleaned up here so uh dump this and then put these panels back and then grab our uh four bull calves got my halter here i would use the calf cart but uh, these guys are a little they're a little too tall to fit in there so uh got to slap this halter on and walk them on over Got yeah, this one moved. They don't care to walk on the halter. They usually fight it, which I don't. I don't pull on them. I just give them the slack, and they usually always want to go backwards. But then they usually calm down and start walking where they got to. So one down, three to go. these two moved in here so uh, they aren't running around or nothing so hopefully they stay in here but uh, yeah, I got the other two moved here and it went picking up
and that's all Warbolt Castle. He found the water, so hopefully they know where everything is now. Got the four cap huts and all the panels moved, so gotta take the skidster now and uh, scoop up all four uh, beddings where the cap huts were at. of this on um, there and then uh, calves are getting pretty hungry so I'm gonna feed them here before too long and go from there. I got a round bale here from yesterday that I kind of busted up. Uh, it's still staying together but probably won't stay together too much longer and of course the steer saw that I was bringing them a round bale so uh, yeah I'm gonna throw it in here for them because the cleaner you can keep these guys and drier the healthier they stay and they grow a lot better but everyone looks pretty good in here right now so I'm gonna close this gate because uh, some will probably sneak by me but uh, gotta get these gates closed here and put the round bale in. Got the corn stalk round bale all scattered, but don't like using corn stalk because it all falls apart usually. Unless if it's wet, then it all stays together. But had to fork it over the wall there. That's the only 
color prom, but I guess you just gotta work with what you got because we small square bale all the straw, so don't get no straw round bales, but the rather deal with straw round bales than corn stalks, but it's done. Started raining here a little bit, so got the uh, 560 and the uh, Massey baler put away. So it, they did get a little wet, but uh, yeah, hurried up and threw that away here. And because uh, gonna beat calves here real quick, but it did start raining, so. I got that put away, so I got to close up the other end shed doors and uh, yeah, the, had the 560 out baler and the 1066 in the rake and uh, yeah, the flatbed trailer and the loader tractor, so got them all put away, so just got to close up the last door down there and then start being calves here. Don't have too good lighting in here with the door closed, but uh, yeah, this 14 Holly, she's one and 45 and that 92, the white one out there, Bellerin. Uh, oh, and that uh, white one, Romania. They haven't figured out how to get up here and eat, but this one, uh, Jolly, she figured out how to get up in the uh, headlocks here, but uh, uh, yeah, hopefully they figure out everyone else is up here eating, so uh, Got them bedded down with corn stalks this morning, too, so everyone's getting bedded down and uh, Hopefully they get a little curious and try to get up here and eat, but uh, I got a few more got them all their six to feed. I'll take a bucket of feet out there and hopefully that sidetracks them enough to not test the electric fence anyways but we'll get out there See how this goes. Let's get I don't know why this one's always ornery, but she likes to get a little rammy. Might have a little trouble with her. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Outside. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Outside. Come on. So hopefully they find the grain here. Hey! I don't know why the cows are running. She touched the fence, so she knows it's working there. So I was hoping they'd start eating here, but they'll just go around the parameter, touching the fence, and 
They'll keep finding out that it's hot, so as long as if they don't run into the fence like that one's going to do. So she already knows that that fence is there. So as long as if they don't bolt into the fence, they it's usually good. But uh, yeah, if they just walk up to it, they usually sniff it first before they run into it. But uh, yeah, I gotta get the south pin fed here and hopefully these guys slow down a little bit. little different feed bunk than what they're used to but <laughs> no. she should figure out how to get her head in there but yeah usually when you switch pins and stuff you just gotta keep an eye on everyone make sure that they do get up to eat there which I don't know why that Lillian's having trouble finding a head spot but yeah she she finally figured it out, so let them eat here and hopefully all six of these little ones stay put. Got everyone fed their grain here. These the four that moved earlier today. And then uh, these four here, which like these calves on the sand, they seem to stay a lot cleaner. But that concrete cleans up pretty good. Yeah, those are the three heifers and these are three bull calves, so yeah, Billy Bob and Thornton, so they look pretty good and I got some disgruntled calfies here, so I better get to feeding them. Got these uh, first five here on milk replacer, and then uh, the end boy on the end there. He'll get uh, milk out of the uh, jar uh, after milk in the night because he's the youngest one. So keep him on milk till uh, we have a another calf. Bye. I gotta give everyone their grain here and then I'll be all done with chores and then uh, we'll start milking later here. Got done doing my uh, calf chores and I remembered uh, we had this uh, heifer here, pretty dark in here. Uh, got, uh, had the vet check her and he said when I didn't think be able to get her bread because her ovaries i guess one's the size of a pea and the other one might be the size of a peanut so she's not very developed in sides and he didn't think uh would be able to get her bred but she's kind of on the uh smaller side because she's uh, gonna be two years old in a couple days here so gonna throw her in the steer pin and try to fatten her up a little bit but uh yeah uh go uh, yeah, run her in the steer pin and then uh, hopefully don't have too much troubles. She knows how to put on the brakes. Yeah, usually just grab a gate here into the 
push them across, but she she was able to keep backing up. And now she's in the front, so she's a problem heifer. So I gotta get her down from there. Hopefully she walks down here. Got the heifer moved in there. She, she everyone's sniffing her, so hopefully she puts on a little more weight in here. But usually, I mean, there's a well, there's two free Martin heifers in here. Uh, yeah, I think I don't know if that's one. Uh, there was another one that was pretty good size because uh, this one's lemon and that one's lime but uh, I don't know one of them's a heifer and then uh, yeah there's a free martin heifer over there somewhere but uh, yeah hopefully get her fattened up anyways and see how she does out here Got to grab these augers here real quick and uh, looked out behind the steer shed here and I think we got a, a calf out by the round bale feeder so I better grab him or her because it's pretty cool so uh, yeah I'll, I'll hurry up load this stuff up and go and see what the calf is. I got the calf cart here because uh, the gator it needs a starter and haven't uh, put one in yet so hopefully get that put in here sometime but uh, I gotta wheel this calf cart out there and put the calf in here and uh, I did I don't know if it was a cow or heifer that I had it because we have a cow and a heifer both do here at the same time so uh yeah gonna walk out there and go see what we got yeah the cap cart it makes a little more noise than the gator but uh looks like uh number 15 the cow had the calf uh because crunchy oh yeah that big heifer over there uh she's the next one due but calf's got some cool markings Oh, it's a heifer, so uh, oh, she still has some cleaning. So, uh, gonna set this down and get this calf in here. Uh, came back to get 15 here, so hopefully can wrangle her up here. It's getting a little dark. It's 15 minutes before five, so uh, right on time for milking, I guess. Which I think that calf has been born for uh, a couple hours, anyways, because <laughs> she was up and walking pretty good. So, but. Uh, this cow shouldn't know where to go anyways. Heifers we usually have a problem trying to get over, but uh, 
Yeah, I'm uh, gonna walk her up to the barn and get her in. Got a little bit of milk for this uh, calf that was born earlier night. So, uh, gonna get her up and get her pet here. I think she already drank because the uh, cow didn't have much milk in her and only got a quarter of a bottle anyways so didn't want to over milk the cow too much because kind of figured she drank because the cow was already up and walking around pretty good and her belly seems kind of pretty filled out anyway so I had to assume she already drank so uh, yeah well let Herbie and I got the last calf, put the bottle out there for him, Hercules, so uh, he should be done drinking now, so that should be all for tonight anyways. <laughs> <laughs>